Have you seen this crazy moon shot, the realistic moon picture using Samsung Ultra phones where you can zoom 100x and then get the best moon shot? They are fake. Um, maybe not exactly fake, but I'm going to show you in this video how when you try to overuse AI, artificial intelligence to do anything that's going to lead to a huge backlash, at least in this case, where people have been feeling cheated because Samsung has been using AI to overlay the moon picture. So I'm going to get into the details of what is happening here. First, what is this? What is this entire Samsung moon? So you can see a lot of people have been sharing videos where you can actually see this, you know, like you zoom in the picture. Once you zoom in the picture, you can see after a particular point, uh, the moon gets recognized and you can see like the best moon picture. Like when you see the moon picture, you can feel like, you know, you're almost using like a telescope or something to see the moon picture. And that's exactly what is happening here. Now, a lot of people have been fascinated, including a lot of popular YouTube celebrities have been fascinated about how beautifully good it is, how realistic it is. There are a lot of comparisons on internet where somebody has taken a DSLR with a huge telephoto lens and they are saying that Samsung has been doing a tremendous job. Samsung has been doing a tremendous job, not in capturing the moon, but actually developing a very clever algorithm called scene optimizer. So let me take you into the detail. This being the channel where we cover AI news, I wanted to show you the details of what is happening here. So what is happening here is when you take a picture and then you zoom and zoom and zoom and within that zoom, the, within the frame of the zoom, if there is a moon, if Samsung's scene optimizer algorithm looks or finds a moon, like a zoomed version of a blurry moon within the frame of the zoom that you're doing, then Samsung takes the blurry moon and then makes a high definition moon, just like in this process. It takes a blurry version of the moon and uses deep learning, like just like how we do with stable diffusion or any deep learning algorithm to take the low resolution blurry moon to create a new high definition moon and then overlays that image on top of the image frame that you are currently seeing. And now is it fake? No, definitely not because it's actually a moon picture. It's not fake. It's not like uh, Samsung is overlaying a Mars picture. So it's not fake, but it is fake because you are thinking that you are capturing the moon. Let's say today it is uh, March 13th, March 13th night, 10 PM. I'm capturing a moon. So maybe what I am thinking in my mind is that March 13, 10 PM, I'm capturing a moon picture, which is so beautiful. But in reality, that moon picture is not exactly March 13, 10 PM, because that picture has gone through a huge deep learning algorithm and AI processing where this blurry image of the moon has been used to enhance and create a new high definition image. That is what you are actually seeing. It's not the March 13th image. It is some AI generated image and you are getting to see that. Now, is that fake? Uh, I, 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 don't, I, I would honestly think it is fake because um, it's not exactly what is there. It's not exactly what I am capturing. It's probably an AI enhanced version, but still I don't feel it is realistic. That's exactly what Samsung is doing here. So they're saying that in order to take clear moon photos, they're using a technology called super resolution technology, which synthesizes more than 10 image in high magnification environment of 25 times or more. Like when you go 25 times or more zoom, it creates a low res image and that that low res image is now, so it creates a high res image or based on the low res image because you are in digital zoom, it's going to be mostly blurred. Like any camera, you just zoom and zoom and zoom and it's going to have a blurred image and that blurred image now goes through this AI processing and a high resolution image is created and that high resolution image is superimposed in the, in the viewfinder or the display that you're seeing. This can be turned off, like you, you have a way to turn it off, but, but it's quite interesting, like the choice that they've decided to make. And this is one of the USP, like unique selling points in a lot of advertisements you have seen, like you can, like I said, like you can go to YouTube and see a lot of people have been flaunting and boasting about the pictures that they've taken, how good Samsung's image um, moonshots are. So I wanted to make this video to make a statement that AI is good, like it's good in a lot of cases. Um, you want to process like an image like portrait mode, then you have to do image segmentation, blur the background, good. But when you try to overuse it, um, I think this is definitely a very good example and case study where you should not use overuse AI to do like 
something that what people don't see in reality again like you can argue that you know nobody can see that level of moon detail with their actual eye that's why you use a camera but that camera is also trying to do something totally different from what is the reality so i i don't know this is a huge lesson at least like for me when companies try to overuse ai to show something that is not real and how it can actually create a backlash i'm not sure how many people actually know this thing like probably they are still feeling really good that their phone is capturing a really good picture of moon but indeed um, it's not capturing a good picture of moon it's generating a good picture of moon overlaying it on the existing blurry image and make you feel that you have actually clicked a really good picture this is another great example and uh, listen that when you make human beings feel good about something that they do which is not usually you know an average thing human beings are going to celebrate you this is exactly what has been happening with samsung i will link this detail in the youtube description you can see how they recognize the moon how they zoom it how they capture it but overall the samsung moon shots are mostly fake ai generated so see you in another video happy prompting